Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be doing something different because today is my birthday and I turned 16. So to celebrate this event, I decided to do a special video of my art journey to reflect on all the art I've done ever since I was six years old. And I would really like to thank all of you guys so much because without you guys, my 15th year on Earth wouldn't be as amazing and I don't think I would have gone quarantine without you guys. So, and hopefully you guys still stick around when I'm 17 till 20, I don't know. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want. So without further ado, let's get started. I guess I would say I did grow up in a very artistic environment because my family does art as well. So I was really exposed to art and drawing at a young age. And additionally, our primary school also had visual arts class twice a week. And the art you're seeing on screen right now are all assignments I've done for that class. Um, there are art I've done in primary one, primary two, and primary three. So when I was six to nine years old. And I wanted to say also that when people ask me when I start drawing, I usually tell them the age I start drawing digitally, but I guess I've also been drawing ever since I was a fetus, just because um, visual arts class made us, and also I just did whatever I wanted in the past when I was a kid. Also, I wanted to say that one of the reasons I started drawing like outside of class was actually because I watched a shoujo anime called Shugo Kara. It was one of the it was the first anime I've watched and my older sister actually at the time really liked drawing and she often draw fan art for the show. So as the annoying little sister I was, I just copied what she did and I started drawing as well. And now you can see there's this pink sparkly notebook which I drew on and that was really the first notebook I started drawing on where I realized that drawing was more than a hobby but more of a passion to me and that is the point where I started going crazy and drawing like basically every day as well. So now we move to the first year of middle school when I was 10 to 11 and it's the year where I started drawing digitally. Back when I was in year 7, which is what we call it here, um, I really liked My Little Pony and I also started to watch other cartoon shows like Avatar The Last Airbender, Steven Universe, Ruby, um, Star vs. The Forces of Evil, Miraculous, and so I drew a lot of fan art for those shows, but I especially drew ponies as you can see from the sketchbook right now. So. I guess that would be one thing I regretted because I didn't really know how to draw human anatomy because I only drew ponies back in the day, which I guess it's fine because I draw mainly humans now. But yeah, that was the point where I just started drawing a lot more and just any time where we're waiting in class and the teacher is not there, I would just take out my sketchbook and start drawing. And I think it was a common theme that all my classmates because I just transferred to a new middle school and I was like at the point where everyone just went, oh, she, she's the girl that draws. Yeah, that was me. And I wanted to say that was the point where I started my YouTube channel. I think I started around that time. I just posted a lot of speed paints of My Little Pony speed paints especially. And surprisingly, my channel did grow a bit. I hit 1,000 subscribers on June. 29th of 2016 maybe because one of the rainbow factory speed paints i did went viral which is like really weird to me but i deleted it because that is a story of the past and i will never talk about it again but if you've seen that video good for you so i would just insert some of my digital art i've done because i started drawing digital art during this time as well. Obviously it was not good and it was just all My Little Pony fan art. And I started on a mouse too and eventually I begged my mom to get a graphic tablet for me. And then 
yeah, so I started really experimenting with digital programs at the time. I had no idea what I was doing. I would just only watch speed paints over and over again and try to pause and then zoom in to what their exact <laughs> settings were and just copy them. Now we skip forward a year and now we're in year eight when I was... 11 to 12 years old. So this is the point where I started to draw more humans because I just discovered Undertale during that time and I, oh boy, I loved Undertale so much. I would listen to the soundtrack non-stop and I would also just draw so much fan art for the show, not, not the show, the game. And yeah, during that time, my friends also introduced me to different musicals and that's also why I started to draw more humans and I also started to play League of Legends which had like human champions so I also started to draw humans because of that too and the My Little Pony love started fading away a little bit and you can see there's just more and more humans and we're getting somewhere and yeah and one of the YouTubers that I watched was called Lily Pichu. She's like a League of Legends YouTuber and she's also a member of Offline TV and she really introduced me to anime and I started watching anime because of her. So I think if I didn't discover Lily, I don't know where I would have been today. So Lily will probably never watch this, but thanks Lily, you're the best. Yeah, so I just take a moment to put some of my digital art in and I guess I really got used to digital, digital art at this point, so I did a lot of digital art and I am really, I'm still kind of proud of these drawings. Obviously, I, I have gotten better since, but this is the point where I start to get used to everything. So now we're on year nine, which is really the point where I think I started to peak a little bit and my art started to get better and now my friends or classmates are well, not just oh she's the girl that draws but oh she's quite good at drawing or that's what I like to think. <laughs> Anyways this is the point where I started to draw more and I still really like Undertale back then so there's still quite a bit of Undertale and also just fan art. I only drew fan art back in the day and I think watching the shows or shows that I watch really determined my art style and also just my drawings in general because that's legit all I did was drawing um, fan art for different shows. So as you can see on screen right now, here is a sketchbook where I started my Instagram account on and I was like, I'm so determined, I'm gonna post every week, I'm gonna get so many followers. Yeah, that did not happen. And I also attempted Inktober here, which didn't, I didn't end up succeeding because there was a camp at school and I couldn't bring my sketchbook and I was sad. So yeah. And this was also the point where I started to familiarize myself with different mediums. So obviously, fine liner as you can tell, and also uh, color pencils, sketchbooks, or colored pens, or watercolor as you can see from this new sketchbook. And I just tried a lot and experimented with a lot of different styles. And this was the point where I started to post a lot of animatics on my channel. I really liked Miraculous Ladybug back then so I did a lot of animatics on that and I know some people still tell me they watch me since then so if you have then thank you so much. I did not expect you to stick around for so long and hopefully you'll still stick around in the future but yeah and this is the point where I started to watch a lot of animes as well. I think one holiday I watched 20 series. I was insane. I have no time now and the fact that I was able to do that makes me really shook. Yeah, and you can see this sketchbook was- this sketchbook here is the sketchbook where I actually completed as you can tell from the previous- I briefly- previous ones I could never complete my sketchbooks. I don't know why, I just keep wanting to start new ones and then the cycle continues. So 
yes, I drew a lot of fan art for different shows, and this is the point where I think I started to be getting the hang of drawing human and anime human styles, and I was really proud of myself back then. And I guess that was also the point where I got more confident in my drawing ability. And hopefully, so far, I have not repeated myself. I'm trying so hard not to. And as you can see on screen now, here are some OCs I've done. Mystic Messenger was also uh, one of the things that I really was really into back in the day. If he's leaked, there is more Killua because that is when I just finished Hunter x Hunter. And you know my love have, of Hunter x Hunter has not died down since. And yeah, hand practices. I really struggled with hands and anatomy back then, as you can tell from my drawings. I just drew a lot during the summer of that year because I went to a art school not art school, like a art summer program, and I got really inspired, so I drew a lot. Oh yeah, I also, you can see just now from the Hunter x Hunter drawing, I, I, was, I was on a car and we were on like a road trip, and it was for six hours long, and I only listened to Departure for six hours, which is, <laughs> how did I do that? I, re I really want to memorize the lyrics. Oh yeah. I really wanted to get better at realistic too, but I only wanted to draw anime characters, so I drew anime characters in cosplay, and also I drew RM for some reason. <laughs> I didn't even like BTS back then, so yeah. That sketchbook means a lot to me. And here is just some digital art I've done. You can really tell that my anatomy did get a little bit better than the previous years, and there's a lot of DDLC, League, Anime, and Miraculous because that is what I really liked back then. And also, here is my OC because I actually drew myself for once. This is the year where it was a little bit different for me. Well, very different for me because there I went to this sort of boarding school program. So I was away from my family and everything was different so as you can tell later there will be a lot of edgy drawings because I was really sad and I also got pneumonia yes yeah I did get pneumonia but it was before COVID I'm all good now and I was really sad back then but I am fine now yeah so I just drew a lot and because in our boarding school program we had this rule where they would take away our technology devices uh, after nine o'clock so I could not draw so my solution is to draw traditionally and later on you will see a lot of watercolor art which I started to do a lot more during this year because obviously my laptop and my graphic tablet was taken away from me after 9 p.m. This is also where I started to draw realistic and not just costly of anime characters but actual realistic by looking at real people on Pinterest and then drawing them. Obviously I was really discouraged and I did not like realistic one bit back then. I only did it for the sake of getting better at drawing in general and yeah. And this is also the year where I actually completed Inktober surprisingly and it was a, it was a hassle but I did it and I am proud of myself. Honestly, I don't really know what to say while the clip is rolling of me just flipping through my sketchbook because I've basically gone over everything I wanted to say. Um, <laughs> what did I do back then? I think this is the point where I started even more than I used to just because I wanted to. Although I didn't really post much on YouTube on this point, I think I was... My channel just was inactive and I did not post in like five months and like each video would be after five months so obviously my uploading schedule is not that bad anymore so don't worry I don't think I will go back to that lifestyle but I still drew a lot in my free time and yes here is some of the watercolor art that I mentioned earlier yes there is a lot of Killua. 
I actually want to make a separate video just to show you all of the Killua drawings I've done because there is surprisingly like a lot. I drew Killua so much this year. I was really really obsessed with him and I used my obsession as of Killua to sort of mask my sadness because I was homesick during that time. Okay, that that's getting edgy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty edgy, but I I just really liked Hunter Hunter back then. And here is some bookmarks that I did for a charity fair and I actually managed to sell a thousand Remen B, which is I don't know, like 120 US dollars around, which I am really proud of myself because those are all donated to charity. Okay, and here is my next sketchbook. I that sketchbook kind of broke midway, so I didn't want to use it anymore, so I started a new one. You can see there's a lot of edgy crying girls. My friends actually had an inside joke that I only drew anime crying girls, and that was just my thing. Well, uh, I don't only draw anime crying girls now, so ha! <laughs> yeah, so I just drew a lot and a lot, and some of the pages are just um, for my assignments in class and I am too lazy to do them anywhere else but my sketchbook and I just basically bring my sketchbook everywhere with me and just draw whenever I'm bored and when we need to socialize but I I am awkward and don't want to socialize I would just turn to my sketchbook I guess in a way my sketchbook was my journal because it really reflected what I was doing at that time which is pretty cool uh, I didn't draw a lot of digital this year as I explained earlier so here's just some art I've done during that year which you can yeah I don't know what to say anymore because I've been talking too much yeah there's more Killua because I love him so now I'm at the point where I'm 14 to 15 and firstly here's a sketchbook where I actually tried hard and this is a redraw of the drawing I did earlier, you can tell. Here's Hestia, some random girl, more hands. I tried doing Tover, but I gave up because I was sick of drawing anime at the time. I don't know why. And I just, this is a transition where I did more realistic. And this year I also did way more digital, especially, this feels so long ago because this is before covid but it was also the same school year so here's um my entry for jade's dtiys and i will be inserting a lot of my digital art here now i think that because of quarantine i really started making animatics again and i'm so glad that i made that decision or else I wouldn't have known a lot of you guys and my channel sure wouldn't have grown as much as it has now. So yeah, obviously there is way more digital art I've done this year. If you're interested, they're all on Instagram. Well, most of them are on Instagram or in my YouTube community tab. And yeah, thank you all for sticking for so long and hopefully you guys will stick around in the future. I'm sorry if this video is a bit too long. But I have been drawing for a long time as well. Um, thank you all so much for watching. And subscribe if you want. See you in the next video.